I do not live in hope. I work to return it. Welcome back. Welcome in, you guys, be here to the patch 14.19. Patch right now. I am Camps, and I will be going over some of the, not all of the changes in this patch, but some of them, mostly the ones that would relate to York or Toplin, if not mostly all of the tank and fighter items. I remember that most of the, uh, also have my camera on. He's black. Others, but I remember that most of the uh, items were getting nerfed for the most part. So let's see in the end what they stuck with. Let's see what this will be all about and see if Yorick is fine or if Elawi is fine as well. First of all, Victoria Sona. She got fucking knockers, bro. We love, we love to see that. I'm not, you know. Well, let's get into it. Let's see. Surprising, you think Iceborne is going? I thought the main purpose was cheap. No! The purpose of Iceborne is to slow people and fuck them up. I made a video about it like two years ago or three years ago. Where the way I played Yorick was very toxic in a way. Because since I always like... Let me basically buy what I had. As cold as the hand of death. This was... I'm here. I'm fighting somebody, right? I eat them, pets jump, I get up close, boom, I slow them. The wall this was up. Ends. They have this much seconds, the wall goes on now. They have six seconds to get, get, get away before I wall them again. But Iceborne will slow them, and that will bop, bop, buy me time to get close again to wall them again. So back then, let's act like this scuttle is is a champion. I queued him, it's gonna instantly die. But I would wall them, and before they can get away, the sheen is off cooldown. So I slow them again, and that buys time for my wall to come back up. So I basically like slow and wall somebody off cooldown 24-7. Ooh, that's the referral announcement thing. And that's basically how I played Yorick back then. And that's why I liked Iceborne Cleaver. Because the purpose was, I have a armor item that gives me HP, and it gives me a sheen proc. I have black cleaver that can lower the enemy's armor, give me movement speed, and give me AD, and give me ability haste. And then I have visage that can increase my healing, and give me magic resist, and give me, back then also gave a ability haste, or cooldown reduction. So in three items, and very cheap items back then, I could get armor, magic resist, penetration, damage, and sheen. So this works for Yorick, this works for the pets, and this gives me sustain. And as long as I could get these three items, nobody could f fuck with me in the game, no matter what happens. Bot lane feeds, I got Gauntlet. Mid lane feeds, I got Visage. A tank is very ahead, I can kill them. This is why these are my three favorite items, at least back then. Now I don't buy Visage as much, but these two are still very good together. That's basically why I say Iceborne Cleaver, become a believer. Everything else is s s situational to an extent. But yeah. One I knew is dead. How are but things with you? In the past, or at least the last video I made on builds, this is what I did. I would say most of these, except for the lethality one, is still somewhat viable. But let me just go over some of the builds I would do. On the next patch. Now, there's always a build of you can just go sheen type items. Sheen type items are basically items that have base AD damage on them. Dead man's ass one. Sterax works with it. Dead man's ass one. You have boots. Hallbreaker technically also has one. And you can then have Sky. So there's like no difference from this one. So the bunk shovel, it's still there to an extent. Only thing I would change is you probably don't need this and you could buy this if you want it. Or you can just buy cleaver if you want it as well. The fighter one. The closer I got to that, the during the, this year we're just Cleaver, Eclipse, I never really got Shoujin. I usually, at least against tanks, the tank version of this, I would just go 
these three items. The next two items are always just tank items. But if I were to complete it, Profane can work with it. And then I would probably just buy Abyssal because I have Leandris. So this can also work. The order would be... If it's into an HP tank, the order would be Black Lever into Leandris, then Eclipse. If I'm winning and it's just a big tank, I usually do Black Cleaver into Eclipse, then Leandris. Abyssal is last if needed, and if I don't need Abyssal, I usually just get Hollow for Wave Clear. This is why the two slots are usually conditional, because it's just based on item combinations that I like. So Black Cleaver and Profane works very well, because this lowers their armor, and then this deals more damage, the less armor they don't have. And these two just work very well, because this gives a lot of H, AD, and percent of max HP, and this gives armor pen. So these three together are also a decent one, but without the uh, AP items, I could also stick in a Sterox and even Hallbreaker if I want to. But as you can see, these two items are usually situational. So on the screen, I'll probably put it like three items for the most part outside of the first one. But Shoujin can still fit in here if you want to, and then you can just get it with Sterox. And at the end, you can always just buy GA, because GA is our best item late game. Because when you die, your pets will not die, and then they can continue. Alright, the next one is a Lethality one. I do not co-sign Lethality anymore, it is what it is. Fast as fuck. Technically, Strike Breaker is got, got fucked, so it doesn't gain movement speed anymore. So if you would want to do that build, it would have to be Cleaver with Triforce, with Dead Man's and Holdbreaker. Last item could be whatever, but I really like Dead Man's combined with uh, Force of Nature since they both give you movement speed. So some builds I go this, and it should work. But usually when I do a build like this with these two items is because my next items are very damage heavy which usually means it's uh where is it it was right in my face but now i'm blind it's profane and then i'm buying you can't take it this is because i'm going damage heavy or this is eclipse i usually do this when it's fucking a bunch of fed ranged characters or mobile characters that like, i never touch so I need my pets to jump and deal damage, and I, I don't buy vitality. But I'm still looking to just r run around and split bush. But that's usually when that happens. And eventually I'll probably sell this to just buy Hullbreaker because I find out, oh, I'm just split pushing. I don't need Eclipse anymore, but I'll keep Profane because the vitality actually works against towers. Next up was Icebone Cleaver. That one has too many builds to be honest, but here we go. Unless I'm into Renekton or Trendomir, I buy Iceborne first, but usually I just buy even Riven sometimes, but usually I buy Cleaver first, then Iceborne. And after that, it's situational. It's just item combinations that I want. Like the one I said with Profane with Black Cleaver or Black Cleaver with Eclipse. Those are two good item combinations or Leandries with uh, Abyssal Mask. Are also item combination you could do but the strongest one that i know of that i like that is gonna be very good is hull breaker with uh titanic so after icebone cleaver you could do this for example because i'm basically level one at the moment to be honest let me just level up to at least level three i don't need maiden to most life is fleeting to me, it and is the plates are up, so I guess it's not going to be too bad. But I can show this. They did buff it, so wait before I hit it. You can basically stack Call Breaker on minions. So it's not as bad as it would say. And then you can stay on the fifth rock. Then when you hit the tower, now I have demolished too, but that's when you proc it. And then you auto attack Q Titanic. And that's what he will keep doing. And each time you proc Hullbreaker, it's gonna deal a lot of damage. It deals like one third of a uh, demolished damage. 
So that's why these two together is a good item combination. And since both of them have HP ratios, this has 3% AP ratio, and then the other one has 4% and 9%. Because of that, it works with other HP items. So in that sense, you could get Sterax to get a shield for it, or you can get Blood Mail. Where is Blood Mail? There's a ton of items, so it should be somewhere in here. And of course, the more HP you have, the more more damage you're gonna get from this as well but usually at that point it's better to not have Iceborne but that's a different build so I'm not gonna go over that one Even to but usually with Iceborne Cleaver this is what I usually do but you can do anything with Iceborne Cleaver to be honest you can just anything the basic one from the past which is Visage with Sterax and the last item is up to you which in this case would be Hallbreaker or take it with you. I can be on do tech. Hallbreaker or Deadman's or GA. It just depends what you need. You can just buy Sky as well. It's situational. But in this case, it's because, again, item c combinations. This just increases your shielding and healing. So Sterex gives you a shield, and Sky he gives you the healing. So it just depends, but the basic is just these two items together. Next I had Hybrid Monk. That's basically what I kind of explained at the beginning. Which is just Cleaver into Leandri's, then Abyssal. If you need more magic with this, you can buy this one for Wave Clear for your pets. Because... I guess now I do summon Maiden. If our pets kill anything with this item, for those that don't know, it deals AoE damage. So if you have this out in the side lane, they can just have a wave clear for you at all times. Also, anything you rights. kill as well, so... Yeah, it works with some form of wave clear. But the main purpose is you just have Maiden released or have Ghouls out, and they'll just give you extra pushing power. But usually, in this build, you wouldn't need more magic with this, so because of that, that is not included. Now, the item combination that I wanted to work and do all the time was with uh, Unending Despair because of this stupid combination. If I have enemies around me, right, and I'm in combat, when it drains from the enemies, let me make myself low. The healing doesn't specifically matter. And when I get myself low and I'm in combat, right, I don't even have to do much because the item will just go off. The drain will actually apply Leandris to everybody else. So this is again item combination. Abyssal lowers their magic resist. This drains the enemies, which now if I want or need more magic resist, I can buy Visage to increase my healing. But also it applies the burn to the enemies. So if you're ever, if you're ever grouping for whatever reason, you could do this instead. And if you need more armor for whatever reason, you can then buy Thornmill, because this also deals magic damage to people that attack you. Are we gonna do this often? No, but it exists. It exists if you find yourself in a situation where you cannot group up, and then you do this version of this build. But usually, this is not what we do. We just stop at these two items and everything else. The last two items, situational. You never know what's going to happen or what you're going to need. But you can see the good option that you have. And the last one is Extra Thick Monk. That's when you got a BBC on you. Extra Thick. Now in the build at Heart Steel, I tried Heart Steel very often. Also report me. One second. I forgot to unmute the music. Cuck. But in the past, I tried to build Heart Steel. But it just didn't work out. It was also very expensive. So usually when I do Thick Rick, I just do Cleaver in the Titanic. If I can Split Push, I get Hullbreaker immediately. If I cannot, I buy something else that's usually situational. And then the build just makes itself like this. And I'm very tanky. And last item, because we have a lot of HP, it becomes this. Don't bury me with it. You can't take it. The only me. item from this that you can take out is honestly taking out anything feels bad 
but sometimes you may see me have Iceborne instead because I went Iceborne Cleaver and then I got this instead. But I can also just remove this and buy a Visage if sometimes needed because item combination. Life. See you again. But now I have Stera Titanic alone, so Titanic can work with Holdbreaker because of what happened earlier. So yeah. You just have to work off item combination and what you're building towards. Because with this buff where you're very tanky now, if I increase my level to like, we're still pushing a level 14. If I reach this tower, even without demolish, and I stack up my Hallbreaker, it's already a five. So the first hit, that's Hallbreaker. Auto, Q, Titanic, fourth hit, fifth hit. That's Hallbreaker again. Auto Q. And yeah. This is gonna be inside of the game. And the damage will be stupid. So when I do have Demolish, what do you think is gonna happen if I ever get to the tower? Hallbreaker, Auto Q, Auto Titanic. The towers are gone. Now for backdooring, it's gonna be even more stupid, specifically because. Nexus towers have less HP than, uh, whatchamacallit, they have less HP than normal towers. So here, Hallbreaker proc, Demolish proc, Auto Q, Fork hit, Hallbreaker proc, Auto, Q, Auto, Hallbreaker again, Auto, Q, Titanic, and the last hit will just end the game. So, those are the builds you could do, and there are more, but the builds are mostly focused on item combinations. But that's it for this patch rundown and what you can build on Yurik. See you guys next time, and thank you for watching. Stay safe, and stay blessed. Oh, I'm tired, and it's dark as fuck in my room. I probably look like a fucking zombie out here. Oh, and lastly, if you do want the item set you saw in the video, I will be making one and linking the text for it that you can paste to import it into your game in the video description or in the comments, or you can probably find it on Discord. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. I think stay safe and stay blessed. Water for the living, shovel for the dead.